Hello. Welcome back to our new video lesson. What we will be going to discuss today is how to perform addition and subtraction of similar and dissimilar fractions. Be prepared to watch and stay focused. You have learned about visualizing the addition of similar and dissimilar fractions throughout our previous lesson. This time, we will recall concepts on how to perform the addition of similar and dissimilar fractions. Let's move on. Let's start with adding similar fractions. We already discussed this lesson in our previous videos. We have 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths. To add similar fractions, add only the numerator 2 plus 4 equals 6 and copy the common denominator 7. Therefore, the correct answer is 6 sevenths. Don't forget to reduce your answer to the lowest term if needed. Another example is 6 fourteenths plus 1 fourteenth. Add the numerator 6 plus 1 equals 7, copy the denominator 14. We will change to the lowest term and have an answer of 1 half. It is easy to learn how to add similar fractions. What about dissimilar fractions? Is it easy to? Let's find out. An example is 2 sixths plus 1 half. We also learned this in our previous video lesson. I will show you adding unlike fractions using LCD, where it is a long process. Ok, let's get started. First, we need to rename the dissimilar fractions to make them similar. To do this, we will find the LCD of 2 sixths and 1 half and that is 6. Divide 6 by 6 equals 1, multiplied by the numerator 2 equals 2. Then, another 6 divided by 2 equals 3, times the numerator 1 equals 3. We can now add similar fractions 2 sixths and 3 sixths by adding their numerator 2 plus 3 equals 5, then copy the common denominator 6. Therefore, our answer is 5 sixths. Again, don't forget to change your answer to the lowest term when necessary. This time, I will show you the faster way to add dissimilar fractions. And this is using cross products. Let us start by multiplying both the denominator, 6 times 2 equals 12. Cross multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. As your first numerator. Then write plus sign. Again cross multiply 6 and 1. Equals 6. Now add 4 plus 6 equals 10. Copy the common denominator 12 and change to the lowest term of 5 sixths. The same with our answer a while ago. Another example of using LCD is 2 fifths plus 3 fourths. Finding the LCD is 20. 20 divided by 5 equals 4, times 2 equals 8. Another 20 divided by 4 equals 5, times 3 equals 15. We can now add 8 twentieths and 15 twentieths by adding only the numerator. 8 plus 15 equals 23. Copy the common denominator 20. Therefore, the answer is 23 twentieths or 1 and 3 twentieths, by finding the least common denominator method. Using the cross multiplication method, start with 5 times 4 equals 20. 4 times 2 equals 8. Write the plus sign, 
then 5 times 3 equals 15. Add the numerator 8 plus 15 equals 23. Copy the common denominator 20. The answer is 23 twentieths or 1 and 3 twentieths. Just like with the addition of like and unlike fractions, subtraction of similar and dissimilar fractions becomes easy for you now. Let us start with similar fractions. Subtract 2 from 3 equals 1. Copy the denominator 6 equals 1 sixth. Again, change your answer to the simplest form when necessary. Another example, 7 eighths minus 3 eighths is 7 minus 3 equals 4, and then copy 8 equals 4 eighths. Change it to the lowest term. Therefore, the answer is 1 half. How to perform subtraction of unlike fraction using LCD? Find the LCD of 5 sixths and 2 thirds is 6. Divide 6 by 6 equals 1, multiply 5 equals 5. Another is 6 divided by 3 is 2, times 2 equals 4. Subtract now 5 sixths minus 4 sixths. Subtract the numerator 5 minus 4 equals 1, and copy the denominator 6. The difference is 1 sixth. By using cross multiplication, find the denominator by multiplying 6 times 3 equals 18. Cross multiply 3 and 5 equals 15 minus 6 times 2 equals 12. Solve 15 minus 12 equals 3. Copy 18 and change to lowest term 3 eighteenths becomes 1 sixth. The last example is 7 eighths minus 3 fourths. Finding the LCD is 8. Then divide 8 by 8 equals 1. Times 7 equals 7. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Times 3 equals 6. Subtract now 7 eighths minus 6 eighths, by subtracting the numerator 7 minus 6 equals 1. Copy the denominator 8. Therefore the correct answer is 1 eighth. Using cross multiplication, 8 times 4 equals 32 as your denominator. Cross multiply 4 times 7 equals 28, and write the minus sign. Remember, it is not possible to cross multiply the numerator of the subtrahend first before the minuend, because the minuend can be smaller, and it can no longer be subtracted. Menu and numerator always comes first. Next is 8 times 3 equals 24. Subtract now, 28 minus 24 equals 4. Copy 32 equals 4 30 seconds or 1 eighth. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates.